What is up, guys? I am back with episode 4 of Need for Speed Pro Street. And uh, as you can quite clearly see, uh, there have been a little bit of a ch or well, there has been a little bit of a change with the 240, as I didn't really like the color that was on it. So it's now candy apple red. And I do believe the rims are a slightly darker shade of gray. But other than that, nothing has changed throughout the game. Same way as when I left it off at the end of episode 3. So, uh, what we're going to be doing today, because we have a little bit of money, we're going to be continuing working on the 240, but first, I need to go and stick on the stage 2 uh, suspension that we got last episode for this Roadrunner here. Figure. Get it a little bit nicer. Um, lower it down so that it's not monster trucking all the time. And other than that, it's uh, gonna get a little bit of camber, a little bit less toe than that. Uh, and that and loose steering response ratio. Other than that, I can't do anything with it still. <clears throat> and uh, I'm also going to go and throw a better set of rims on it all the way around. Just because it, I, I need to get rid of the old ones. I like, I, I, I just need a different set. Um, actually, this set of end keys the WRC Tarmax don't look that bad. Put 28% front and back. Uh, some dish. 100%. Whoa, 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 wrong slider. Um, yeah, those don't look bad, actually. Uh, and just go and widen them out a bit. I think that don't look bad. Actually, meh. Not feeling them. Like, they look nice, but meh. Not feeling them. The way that they dish isn't good. Let's see what we got for Volks. Because I want, like, a good... I want a good five spoke. Like those would have been fine, or a six spoke. Let's see what they got for welds and work wheels. Cause work wheels, weld, American racing, and Volk aren't bad. Like, they're all pretty good wheels. All right, that's the end of those. I think we will go for. I, I think I'm going to go for a set of Volk GTS wheels. Put them up to, let's say, 20 on on front and rear seat. They, they don't look bad. Dish them out. It's like, got to at least let the car look the part. And same thing to the front. And there you go, just like that. No body kit, no hood, no spoiler, no exhaust tips, no cage, no racing seat. It's just how we're going to leave it. Now, back to the 240. Because this needs a better drivetrain. Gonna go and Set in a Raxel's drivetrain, and then I've still got ten. And then we still got ten grand left, and we can't do anything with it because we just spent it all on one thing. Because it's eighteen grand for the stage three turbo, it's twelve grand for the stage one engine, and it's twenty-one thousand for uh for a stage three nitrous system. So we can't really do anything with this car now. Update the blueprint. Um, yes, I'm aware. I just said update. I am not a. I'm not the best with words. Uh, now, what 
do I do with this car? Because I don't want to really keep it. But it's like, <laughs> it's the only drag car that we've got at the moment. I probably should have spent a bit more money on the, uh, the drag cars. And I don't want to put money into it because it's just going to get sold later. I'm aware. Uh, 16 grand. That is not going to be enough for a new dragster. So we'll just keep it the way it is. And, uh... You know what? I'm going to have to put money into it. Custom upgrade. Nothing. Drivetrain. Nothing. Turbo. Stage 1 owned. Suspension. Stage 1 owned. Uh, stage 1 brakes. Oh, stage 1 tires. Not bad. Um, stage 1 nitrous. Body kits. Wheels. Front wheels only. Center lines. Dish them out. Give them an insane frickin' sidewall. And just like that. Body kits. Uh, I'll just go and put the stock auto sculpt on it. Figure. Might as well at least try and make this thing, like, good. I mean, it might be a cobalt, but... You gotta at least try with it, yeah? If only we could get wheelie bars in this game. I mean, oh my god, that'd be awesome. What am I doing there? Uh, how about no? Stock auto sculpt is on it. Just go throw the carbon hood on. Ugh, voice cracks. Did it have a cage? No, it didn't. Oh well. What's the stock engine? Still 12. Forced induction. Ooh, I could get a better turbocharger on here. I think I might do that. Just go and throw on the turbonetics. Tune it. Uh, it's front wheel drive, so I'm not going to touch any of that. Just lower it. Oh, uh, rear tire pressure high, front tire pressure low. Start boost low, end boost high, nitrous pressure high, nitro pressure high. Uh, nothing needs to be altered there. Dino test it. 326 horsepower. That's better than it was. Which means I can probably run into the 12s now. <laughs> I love how thick the front tires are compared to the rear. It's like, I get skinnies. <laughs> Freaking weirdest car ever. Right. 240 cobalt because the uh, <coughs> the roadrunner isn't going to come into play until after this super promotion event but uh what's going to happen is we're going to go through each like individual thing uh, all the way before moving through these um, through the showdown event um, now I forget view cars, cobalt, view details I, I didn't upgrade that really at all other than the paint and the uh, crap what did I upgrade on it I can't remember <laughs> wow is that a wrestling oh. oh, First race. Figure we can do all the group races and then uh, stay after we've dominated. If we haven't already done the, uh, the quarter mile. Because quarter mile in this game is a lot of fun. 
especially once you get to having faster cars, because, oof, those things, they, <laughs> they're a bit insane and sometimes extremely uncontrollable. Hey, hey, here we go. Come on, make some noise. Make some noise. That's a Mustang. Oh great, we're doing this backwards too. Hundred and five, hundred and ten, hundred and fifteen, hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty-eight, that's where it tops out. Well, hundred and twenty-seven apparently. Not gonna break, not gonna break, gonna trust in the car. Come on. Yo, I'm not gonna need to break around this entire circuit. Well, I, I say that and then I see a braking zone. I know that I can take this flat out. This is easy. Yeah, they're all gonna catch up to me on this straight. Corner. Trust in the car, trust in the car, trust in the car, take the corner, there you go. Might have done a bit of off-roading there. Oh well, it's still fun. Hit the brake, and I'm off a little bit. Just a little bit. <clears throat> I, into the hairpin that's not really a hairpin anymore, just a really, really mellow left. So I can take it flat out in most cars. Like, heck, even on project cars, you can, uh, like, depending on the vehicle, you can take that flat out through most of the gears. Unless, of course, it, like, if it's a race car. If it's a road car, it's not going to have enough grip to take it at that kind of speed, but otherwise, generally, you're going to be pretty good on it. Now, did I take light damage? No, it says I took no damage, even though I know that I did, because I could see the, uh, the deformities in the panels. That's a little bit sad, actually. You, you can see all of the scratches on there, and yet it's still telling me that I don't have any damage. I mean, that's a little BS there. Alright, just dive into the next race. Ugh. I think, or is that a grip class? Nope, grip class. Let's see here. Pretty sure I can beat the group B guys too, as long as I try. Hello, RSX. You are a horrible vehicle. Why can't you be like the Integra? Take the corner, take the corner. There you go. Easy. There you go. 
good compared to theirs. Oh god. So much easier than when I used to play this game, like, religiously. Because I never used to upgrade this car. I used to just convert it to a drift car or sell it. So, this makes it pretty, pretty nice. I forgot how good S13s were properly racing other than just drifting. Just don't hit anything! Ooh, that was close, that was close, that was close, that was close. And yes, I'm aware that I just hit something. Uh, it's a, it, it wasn't enough to register, though. It wasn't hard enough. Ah, my nose got itchy. <laughs> Don't hit those barriers. It's not good. Just run through here without hitting the nitros. Oh, Knock the mirror down. Faster. I feel so bad for this little 240. Having to deal with me driving it. And I'm so aggressive sometimes driving. I mean, just jeez. I mean, like. What is it? Doing crap like that? In real life, that'd absolutely destroy your suspension. 100%. Like, it'd be dead after one race. Ah, oh, I tapped the wall. I tapped it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> More like I went and uh, freaking rammed into it. Yeah, that, that's much more than a tap. Though, I'm pretty sure I still scored pretty good. 7,700. Yeah, not bad. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yo, I know that Chevelle. That's Bradley Hunter from Aftermix. I'm gonna have to get the story from Brad because uh, I heard that car was impounded. Clearly that's not the case. So watch out for... 2,500 bucks. So let's keep going. Alright, who's got... I have how many races? Alright, 14,100 left. I have three races. I will do the quarter mile. Because I wish to try it out now. That and it's a, it's a little bit of a faster race, because each race is, what, I don't know, a few seconds, generally. <coughs> And then you go and look at uh, circuit races, those are a few minutes, so. than I used to run. I could use with a better launch, though. I mean, friggin' just spun the crap out of it. thing is, I don't even think that this cobalt is that loud. It's pretty quiet. It's a lot faster than it used to be. <laughs> I think the fastest that I ran before was like a 12.94. Picked up four tenths of a second by putting on a better turbo.
that run could have been better. I missed the shift horribly. Either way, I'm pretty sure I took first. Yes, I did. I took first by quite a margin, actually. And now I need to get 8,000, I think, points? Just about, somewhere in there, to win. So, that's not bad. Let's try. Yeah, 8,087. Not bad. I can just... I'll do the time attack. Yes, I'm... I'm going to race in the damage car. I don't care. I'll just repair it later. I ain't no point in fixing a car and then killing or well, killing it, crashing it again, so that you have to fix it again. Might as well fix it all at the end, unless it's like undrivable. Dug into a wall. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Thank you. Don't hit me, I just said. Man doesn't know how to listen. So, yeah, admittedly, it's just an AI. Couldn't hear me, but still. Okay, that was my fault. I tapped the wall there. I hit a wall there. Turboed four cylinder. Let's go! Now, if only this was a 180SX instead of a 240. Oof. And you got a turbo from stock. I wish I knew what the, uh, the target time was. Target time was a minute eight nine. So, that's a domination right there. Not half bad. And I'm pretty sure I also went and broke another track record. Yep. Dominated. Cash six grand, take the ten grand on top of that, and leave the race day. And, uh, Everything he enters, it's just ridiculous. We've got a lot more coming up in a whole Yeah, I'm just gonna repair that with the marker. It's easier. And, uh, I believe... I, uh... Yeah. Hello, G-Effect. It's only been four race days. <laughs> well, technically speaking, five, but still other than the actual battle machine thing and I've already unlocked it.
that's proof of how good that that 240 is. Just like that, and the bottom half of Battle Machine is done. I mean, got all that done already. And then if you go and hide the details, you can come over here. G effect is already open. Gonna need to, uh, take care of our little Chevrolet Cobalt issue, though. If I sell the car, how much is it worth now? 18 grand. Added 2 grand onto the value for a $9,000 turbo. Okay. Figure out what cars I got in here that I could use for a dragster. Charger ain't bad. It's a little slow though. Something, something that I know will be half decent, other than a 240. You know what? How about just go and pick up the 65 GTO? drag racing and boom just like that and then go in here sell that sell it and got some of the money back drag blueprint customize figure do quick little customization stuff here just look at it and it's 62,000 for that okay then it's a bit expensive. <sighs> you know what? Just gonna leave it stock for now. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.